Tom. Hello, everybody. Tom Fox here. Back to more of the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, the Krug Chronicles. In the last episode, we, I think it was last episode, we completed the, uh, the Thieves quest. Got ourselves the Cowl of the Gray Fox. And, uh, we also got trapped on an island, uh, for the hunt. Where I aptly kicked the dude's butt. Where I aptly kicked all the hunter's, uh, butts. Uh, the other person who was trapped there with, with there with me died. And then, uh, I had to... Do uh do another thing as well that I can't remember for the, for some reason. I keep hitting the wrong button. I keep thinking like, oh, escape. I'll change my equipment with that with escape. Oh, I beat I beat the guy who was like orchestrating the whole thing. This is a daedric artifact. It's only worth two gold. Let's see if we get the you're not supposed to be here dialogue. Uh oh, hold on. Uh nope, not escape. Good lord, it hasn't even been that long since I last played. I would like to cross. Uh, I need to see people, please. Oh wait, that's right. I have it. I have it bound. There we go. I need to check to see if the person I'm turning this quest into. Oh, they're right there. Okay. I accidentally almost pickpocketed them. Hello. Tis I, the Gray Fox. Something's wrong. I can tell. What's happened to Aleron? Krug is afraid he's dead. When I saw the grave look on your face, I knew something had happened to him. And what of that fetcher, Curtin? Same fate. Then Aleron's death has been avenged. I told him that the gambling would lead to this, that foolish man, but he never listened. Before you go, I have this for you. Aleron told me that if he ever got in trouble, this could be used to bail him out of jail. He'll not be needing it any longer, and I want you to have it. I'll not take no for an answer. I know you did all you could, and for that, I thank you. Now, please, go in peace. I wish to be alone. I wonder if I could have saved him. Biography of the Wolf Queen. I wonder if, like, any of these books that I've been picking up and possibly selling have any, like, uh, quest arts. Not really. Oh, I do want to read. Oh, I already got that paralyze and uh, frost damage. I figure when I said breath that I'd be able to uh, to. Oh wait, wait. Does that do two things? It both paralyzes and does that amount of damage. Wow, that's actually pretty darn good. I have to consider that putting out putting that on my uh, in my destruction slot there. At any rate, I should probably take off the uh, the gray fox cowl. <laughs> what happened to the person who helped me? They seem to not be here anymore. Uh, heard that Kudai, the Mage's Guild, is uh, searching for assistance in locating a missing friend. A is being offered, so I've decided to find out more information. Let's do that one. Hey, it's also right here in Braville, 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 or Braville. Tis I, the Archmage. Never fear, Archmage Krug is here. Where the heck are you, friend? I wish to talk to you. It is me, the Archmage Man. And my editor's name is Dan. Alright, uh, you. Good day! Good day! Good day! Good day, good day! What brings you to me today, friend? Krug wishes for good day. Yes, I'm the one looking for my friend. His name is Henantir. If you find him, I'll be glad to offer you a sizable reward. Where is Henan, dear Bravil? I take my duties as chapter head very seriously, unlike some guild mages. It infuriates me how casual some guild heads are about common civility. Uh, does that include, include Archmage Krug? Each local guild hall has its own... All right. I heard Ita Rainus talking about the geography of Tamriel again. She's very knowledgeable. I gotta talk to like everyone to get a quest at some point. I miss him so. We were study mates at the Arcane University, and we've come to grow fond of each other over the years. He's always getting himself into jams with the careless ways he performs his experiments. And well, I'm afraid he's done it again. I'm going to level with you, as you seem like you wish to help. 
Penangir isn't missing. On the contrary, I know exactly where he is. The problem is, he's trapped and there's no way I can free him. Uh, why the deception? Well, Penangir's been warned that if he strays outside the guild rules one more time, he may be up for summary dismissal. The rules say that he isn't to practice dangerous experiments at his home. It must be done in the guild under the watchful eye of an associate. Henantir's never been one for rules, and so he's continued to perform his latest experiments in secret. If word gets out, he'll be dismissed. Fine by me, I just... I, that's not what I'm in this for! Great. Whatever suits you and gets me Henantir back suits me just fine. When you're ready to go and see him, let me know. But please, do hurry. Krug. All right. Uh, again, they don't know I'm the Archmage, so there was that. Also, apparently that that dialogue about the Arch about uh about um stealing from the Archmage, even though I'm already the Archmage, that was edited in the unofficial patch. Uh, because in the normal game, it, it's just never addressed that you're the Archmage. For, uh, for that particular quest. Alright, well, where the... Wait, where at? Oh, wait, is he here? Did I miss something? Because it's still, it's still directing me back. Uh, you know what, this is true. She never actually said where he was. Are you ready to find... Lead on. Fantastic. Let's be off, then. Krug ready to kill. Oh, boy. What do you got in here? A silver vase and a wolf's pelt. At some point, at some point, I am gonna run out of like um of things that I could just very easily find, and I am gonna have to like look up where to where to like find quests. I don't know if I'm at that point yet. I'm sure I'll be able to find more stuff as I'm doing the Dark Brotherhood. But like, I don't know where all the Daedric shrines are. Like, there's there's probably a bunch of stuff that I haven't like gotten around to. It's probably some stuff that's only gonna be available when I get further in the main quest. It's a it's a whole ordeal. A whole ordeal. Just gonna just gonna keep on walking, eh? Here I am. Oh wow, this is actually this is actually a lot closer than I thought it was. Hen and tear. What has that head and tear done? Oh, I hope it's something like turn himself into a pig. Well, as you can see, Henantir's right here, and he's trapped in his dream world. Henantir. We aren't going far, so no need to prepare for a long journey. In fact, he's still in town. More I can't say aloud without risk of others hearing. He's actually right there. I told him that trying to travel into one's own dreams is risky, but as usual, he didn't listen to me. Always has to do things his way. Henantir constructed a magical device he called the Dream World Amulet. With this device, one can enter his own mind and experience dreams. Anyone can dream. True, but this is different. When you enter your dreams with the amulet, you're in full command of a dreamlike replica of yourself. All your thoughts, your skills, and your talents travel there with you. Think of it as exploring a new land, but a land within your own mind. Henantir created the amulet to see if he could use his dreams as a training ground to help better himself. I don't know all of the details, but the amulet is a conduit to get to that training ground. It's been three days, and he's been stuck in his dreams. I've watched him all that time, and he hasn't been up at all. The only way to save him is to put on the Dream World amulet and go to sleep. Only then can you hopefully find out what's happened in there. Why me? Why haven't you tried? I fear that anyone he knows won't be able to help him in there. Since I'm in his memories, he may dismiss me as a figment of his dreams. 
The only chance is for a total stranger to enter his dreams. When you're ready to do this, I'll give you the amulet. Only I know the secret way it can be removed from his neck. Okay, Henan Tear. My poor Henan. Alright. You'll have to be very careful in there. Alright. Don't take this sojourn lightly. The recesses of the mind can be the darkest place of all. Oh boy, okay. I wonder if I could bring anything back with me. Something tells me that I cannot. Wait, wasn't I... Wasn't I supposed to have an amulet, or... Let's just sleep here, and then that's the... That's what... No, what do I gotta do? Uh... Are you prepared? Yes, I'm ready. Please, use the extra bed here. If you sleep too far from Hen and Deer, it may not work. I'll watch over you both to make sure you're safe. Oh my, I almost forgot. Oh? Hen and Deer once told me that if he's killed in his dreams, anyone that's in there with him will die as well. So do be careful. Seems like a pred uh, predecessor to, uh... Now is the time for sleep. Uh, I forgot oh, what the name I of the movie I was. go with you. Now is the time for sleep. It didn't work. Probably because I've got to put something out. Here we go, Dream World Amulet. Okay, now to sleep for an hour. I've entered Hen and Tears Dream to my surprise I've arrived naked except for the Dream World Amulet. Not only am I unarmed, but I've also discovered that the amulet is preventing me from using any magic. To explore a strange place in hopes of finding something to defend myself with. My word. You startled me. Are you real? I am naked and afraid. Manual of Arms. Anything here I could use as a melee weapon? Test a press. Oh boy, okay. I've lost my way. This place looks so familiar. But I can't remember how I got here. Can you help me? Mm, Krug, uh, dream world. This place is so strange. Dream world, you say? It's more like a nightmare. I don't like this place at all. I feel like I shouldn't be here. There must be an exit around here somewhere. I'd explore this place, but I'm afraid I just don't have the courage to do so. How could I be so careless? What's the matter with me? I know I've lost something. Yes, that's it. I I've lost many things in this strange place. Would you please help me? Okay. Test of patience. Test of perception. There's stairs over here. Test of courage. Test of Resolve. There's a skeleton here. Oh, I probably don't, can't, I'm not allowed to take anything back with me. We must, have you found it? Okay, let's try the Test of Perception. One of my worst skills, IRL. Suck up these torch. All right, uh. I am to merely perceive all that goes on here. Invisible tricks and tra- yeah, 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 Block my way. Whoa! What? What hit me? Ha! Something's hitting me. Ah! Well, this seems to be too weak to really do anything to me. Whoa. Ooh, but those aren't. The rocks did quite a bit of damage, actually. Krug is locked out from his magical abilities. Hello. I don't know how things about these is that if you just, like, run against it. Yeah, I don't need to step on that switch. I think I think the switches here are, are meant to be invisible, but they but they didn't um actually do that. Many ever in Oh god. Oh no. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. I tried to jump, but I didn't jump. 
When locating an element of perception, this must be one of the things that Hennetier misplaced. Losing this attribute of his mind must be what ma what's making him so confused. If I could find all the elements and bring them back to him, I should be able to restore Hennetier's sanity and help him awaken. I should continue searching for other elements if I ever intend to leave this waking must nightmare. Get out of this place. Have you found all right, so that, the perception was the first one, and it requires a key now. The test of patience. Another thing that I'm not quite good at. All right, what do I need? A mysterious scroll. Oh, boy. All right. So certain symbols on this are making a path that I need to follow. Though I'm not sure from which direction. Uh, let's try it like this then. Okay, this is the right. Okay, so uh, so it is intending you to read this from like the bottom up. I wouldn't really call it the test of patience. More like the test of like, I don't know what you call it, like knowledge. Is something down there? Am I able to get back up if I fall down there? I'm not sure that I want to search down there. Or if it just boots me out or kills me. I'll quick save and check it out. Thank you, quick save. Ha! Oh yeah, just, oh wow, there's a kill plane like right there. That scared the ever-loving crap out of me. Alright. Well, let's take a look at that scroll here. Uh, up two, left two, up two, right one, up one, right two, uh, up, well, technically two. Okay, so, bam, 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 I think it's up one? No, up two. And in fact, there's actually a couple other places that are, uh, that are, uh, safe as well on here. Oops. Like, like this one here is oh. safe. Oh god, okay, it's not safe. Jeez. The reason I thought it was safe is because it shared the, uh, it shared a marking with the, uh, with the same one. I just jumped across it. Which, in all honesty, could probably easily do for here. I wonder if I have to actually push all of them. Uh, funnily enough, okay. I actually want to do this the impatient way now, just because of that little snafu. So from here, I'd go up three, and then I could jump up uh, another two. Right, one, two. There we go. And then I think I just le it's just left one, and then up uh, up the rest of the way. Oh no, it's all the way to the left. Yeah, acrobatics kind of breaks this one, I'm noticing. You are of death of the dreamer. Locate the element of patience, the second element can, uh, to be found in Henetir's dream world. I should continue searching for more elements. We must get out of this place. Gotta, I need to, to punch as I am Krug. Krug, punch. The test of courage. Right, what do we got in this alien cask? Weak potion of the sea. Uh, presumably water breathing? Alright, so a good way to go about this is uh, to wait until you're almost out of breath to use the potion. Although that doesn't seem to be the case here for whatever reason. Although it is intending you to do more, the Grotto of Courage. Oh wow, that was that was way easier than I thought it was going to be. I can climb up this. Oh well, I've located the element of courage. The third element will be found in Henetir's dream world. I should continue searching for more elements. We must get out of this. Presumably, place. there's only one left. I think I just grabbed a mug. It's just Henetir's house. All right, hope, this is probably a combat trial, and I'm already pretty low on health as it is. So. Let's do it. Yep. Welcome to the arena. All right. Let's go with that. Uh, I'm gonna take the. 
You know, I'll take the full Daedric set. We haven't actually seen Krug in full Daedric wear. Hell yeah. Very, very metal. I'll go with the, let's well, let's see, how many points of damage does the, does the fire do? Oh, that does a lot. I'll take the Dagger of Blaze. This is probably gonna deal more damage. Welcome. Ooh, Minotaur, huh? Do I have my other abilities here if they're casting magics? Hmm. This could be an issue. My best bet seems to be to wait for them to like attack with like a strong hit. Hmm. This isn't going very well. I'm probably gonna die. Oh, heavy armor increased. Oh my god, I'm I'm getting rinsed. Yeah, the the inability to use my magic is pretty much like the biggest thing that's holding me back right now. I like how they're using like a magic headbutt. Oh, oh my god, I'm I'm so close to death. It's not even funny. I maybe mean, I've got like one or two hits left in me on this. Damn it. All right. My biggest issue came from one of the previous trials where, you know, I'm gonna go back to the test of patience and then uh, and then play my way through that so I'm not at such low health when I get to this one. So Dan, let's go ahead and cut ahead. All right, this time around I ended up taking the, uh, the light armor just for mobility sake. And I'm also gonna start off by using the, uh, the staff of lightning gonna go through every single charge of that. Though Krug is, so Krug is the Archmage, so honestly I probably should have been doing this from the beginning. Yeah, that was a lot easier. Significantly easier with, with that. Ooh, a set of magical stairs. I kind of wonder if my acrobatics is high enough I could have just grabbed this. Please. I feel as though I'll be trapped here forever, and I don't even know why. Uh, Dreamworld. But how? What you say must be the truth. I feel strange. I can see now what you were saying was no story at all, but the truth, and I'm a fool. I had no idea that the amulet could hold such a power over me. I set out to create a way to conquer my failings, but it seems the tables had turned, and they conquered me. I don't know how you did it, but I thank you. Now, we must wake from this dream and take our places in the real world again. Farewell. What if, like, he woke up and then everything was just, like, black for Krug? It's good to see you in the real world. I'm indebted to you for rescuing me from my nightmare. I suppose thanks are only a small token of my appreciation. Allow me to reward you for your bravery. I'm afraid I don't have much in the way of coins. But allow me to present you with something that may help in your travels. I like how you could hear all the equipment, like, leaving me. Storm Atronach Tome! Ooh, do I have that? Kudai has always watched over me, and it's good to know she cared enough to seek help when I was in trouble. Rumors. She doesn't leave home much, but apparently Luciana Galena has a lot of experience fighting in light armor. Light armor. Farewell, friend. Speaking of, I should probably start finding, like, trainers and whatnot. Also, uh, yeah, it, it ought to equip me with, from everything that I had in the, in there, so... Let me get everything back. Uh, Mage Killer Greaves. Anything else I'm missing? Boots. Do I have mostly light armor, I realize? I've got heavy armor for Greaves, shield, and helmet. That's, because that, that's heavy armor, right? Yeah. Uh, give me my absorption stuff, my ring of mind and body, and Namira's ring. Uh, am I supposed to talk to Kudai, or was that the end of the end of the quest? It seems. Yep, through a nightmare, darkly. Now that Henantir has returned, things are as they should be. Mm, dream world. I wish to never speak of the dream world again. 
Henentier's free of its grip, and I can't bear a reminder he was ever a prisoner in that dark place. You mean his own mind? Henentier. Thank you for returning Henentier to me. I don't know what I would have done without him. No prob, Bob. I'll always remember what you've done for us. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Oh, I need it. Nope, you don't have anything else. What do you what do you train in? Let's see if we can't teach you. Ill -ill illusion. I do hope our paths cross. Like I said, I do want to train in some of the weaker stuff I have, uh, for the sake of uh just getting it up. Which I think is still it's either hand to hand or uh, or speechcraft. Although speechcraft is easy to um is easy to gain up. It's just a lot of spamming, like that chat wheel. Because uh, technically there are different quests for each of these, I think. Maybe not all of them, but at, at least some of them, because I know I got the blunt training. Uh, yeah. So I think I think I got one for heavy armor. But like, you know, getting one for armorer, getting one for, uh, you know, athletics, all that jazz. Mercantile. Hand to hands at 25. What's speechcraft at? Yeah, so I think I'll go hand to hand, because like I said, speechcraft is pretty easy to improve if I just like, keep, keep blowing it. Uh, so where am I going? Well, I wanted to find... I forgot who the hand-to-hand -hand trainer was. I think it was somebody in one of the fighters' guilds. Again, I'll look it up between episodes and find it. But for the meantime, I suppose I should, I should start in another quest. Sodastra described a bit about Gar uh, Garadan's tears to me. Apparently, they were literally f tears of a knight who was, who was somehow frozen long ago. To find out where they may be located, he suggests I speak to a colleague of his at the Arcane University in the Imperial City, Julian Fannis. We'll start that up. Tears of a rapper. Speak. I'm talking. Oh, you're not gonna say this humble battle mage welcomes you to the university? Tears of a rapper. What can I do for you? What can I help you with? Uh, uh, Imperial City. I rarely leave the university, as I have all I need right here. If you need ingredients, try Ogier Georic at the main ingredient. Fascinating. Uh, Garden's Tears. You aren't the first person to go looking for those. Quite a remarkable story, really. I know a bit about it. Please, I wish to hear. Certainly. Garretton was a knight who lorded over a small village of peaceful farmers. One harvest summer, there was a horrible drought. The farmers appealed to Garretton to discover a solution. He spent a week consulting with sages, until one of them mentioned a possibility. The sage told him of an artifact called the Everflow Ewer. The vessel, which looked like a silver pitcher, was said to supply endless water. Amazing. Yes, indeed. Legend has it that Garadan found the Ewer, and that it was guarded by a fearsome creature. It is also said that the creature froze him. When Garadan realized his quest was a failure, and he wouldn't be able to return and save the farmers, he began to shed some tears. As the ice enveloped him, some of his tears were frozen as well. Some even say that the divine, Mara, took pity on the poor knight. To commemorate his kind heart, she imbued the tears with some sort of magical power. That's only rumor, though. You know, if you're really interested in more, there's a book I read once called Nightfall. It may have more about Garadan. Where can I, can Krug find this book? I think I saw a copy last time I was at the first edition bookshop in the Market District. Hmm, interesting. I wish I could tell you more. Uh... Greetings, please Gilbert. visit me again anytime. I'm not sure. Hello. So... And the gods work in mysterious ways. You're kind, so I will take pity on you. Instead of trying to, to help you stay alive or, at all, I'm just going to imbue your tears with magic. Uh, first edition, here we go. I need the book Nightfall. Probably don't even have it. Uh, I may need Friendo Krug, so let's get Friendo Krug ready. Friendo Krug, Friendo Krug, Friendo Krug, Friendo Krug, Friendo Krug, Friendo Krug, Friendo 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 Krug, Friendo Krug, and handsome Krug. I'm Fintius, owner and proprietor of the first edition. 
Look around. If I don't have it, maybe I can get it. Uh, shop. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Krug need nightfall. I was just saying how I was thinking, like, what if books? What if books, though? Okay, 69. I can't make that deal. Okay, what about 67? That's just not reason. Mm, you drive a hard bargain, 65. That's just not reason. Okay, come on now. Let's not be unreasonable here, 62. You've got to be kidding. Mm, I am not kidding. What about 60? Purchase the Nightfall from Phintius at the bookshop in the market district. I should read it to find out more about Garadin's Tears. I appreciate you. Mm, you appreciate lots of things, but my oh, business good. is not one of them. Mayhaps never again. All right, um... Uh, I'm leading touch tone. Ooh! Fire damage 30 points for six seconds, plus weakness to fire for six seconds? Ooh, that's a good spell. Probably cost a bunch, though. Where is Nightfall? There we go. Except from Nightfall, Tales of Heroism and Chivalry, edited by uh, Karelian or, uh, Audrenius. Legend of Garrod and Stalrus, uh, as told by Jaren, uh, Aethelweald's uh, squire and friend. And so it came to pass that on the first month before the harvest, nary a cr uh, decent crop could be found in the drought-ridden fields of, uh, Farmantle Glens. Twenty-seven families, their bellies sunken and, and empty, turned to their lordship who had been so fair to them in hard times before. The man ruled not with an iron gauntlet, but with a, uh, with the soft touch of silken kindness, my lord, Garrod and Stalrus. Knight errant. Of, of far mantle glens. I watched sadly as my lord Garadin looked out at the withered fields before him from his meager stone keep and cursed the luck that tainted the skies and stopped the rain from falling. The families in his charge would not last the winter, which, is, which was always bitter and cold in the northern reaches of, of Gerald's. With his own supply, uh, his, uh, his own supply of grain was already picked clean. There was barely enough to sustain him for the month ahead, months ahead. I know if my lord had the food there, he would have uh, shared it gladly, allowing his charges to pay him back in whatever time or manner they could afford. And in some cases, to those in dire need. Give it to them without cost, something had to be done. Something had to be done, and it had to be done soon. Sparing not a drake, Garadin paid uh, for the best sages he could to find uh, and used the rest to buy as much su surplus grain as he could rest from the neighboring domains. A month passed and nothing surfaced. Winter's icy tendrils would soon creep across far mantle glens, causing the green to disappear from the landscape. Families would have to huddle close to keep their uh, to their hearths to keep warm, and rationing the bits of food Garadin had given them. I could see Garadin's patience, which was immense, mind you, wearing thin. He told me he considered selling his keep, his belongings, anything to keep his people alive. If only the harvests would yield more, they'd be saved. Then, as if Mara herself had answered his prayers, a sage entered Garadin's keep with the answer. Legend told of a vessel of sorts from which water would pour endlessly, known as the Everflow Ewer. Some said the divines themselves created it. Others thought perhaps a powerful sorcerer enchanted it. Wherever it was from, Garadin knew this could be his chance. Following the directions from the sage, my lord and I set out to recover the Ewer and rid far mantle glens of the drought. It took days to reach the entrance of the place. After we passed through the winding passage, we finally came to an odd door covered in mystical symbols. As the sage instructed, my lord touched some of the refined frost salts to the door. The ancient stone door opened, and we uh, proceeded uh, into the glade. A cave cut into, the hill into a hillside led into a small glade of trees. In the center of, a, of the glade, flanked by two standing stone al uh, stone stones, was, an, uh, was a stone altar. On the altar, seemingly glowing with inner light, was the ewer, cut from crystal. The vessel was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. Water filled to the very top, as legend held, would never diminish as the liquid decanted from it. Eager to return to his domain, Garrett and grasped the ewer in his hand. Suddenly, the ground trembled as though the mountains themselves were angered. The sky changed from sunlit blue to dreary gray. Even the ring of trees forming the glade seemed to bend away slightly from the altar, as if fearing what was to come. Then, with no warning, one of the standing stones cracked and exploded. My gaze froze and my heart fell as I looked upon the guardian of the glade. A huge creature, seemingly cut from the very same crystal as the ewer, stepped forth and growled menacingly at my master. The air around it became very cold, as if it was born from the glaciers of the northern mountains. This was a being of ice. Living, breathing ice. So, Anatronok. 
Garrett had shouted at me to run as he drew his blade. Still clutching the ewer in one hand, he gave a mighty swing at the ice creature. When the forged steel struck home, it gave a resounding ring and merely chipped the beast, as a spike would when driven against the hardest of rock. Never showing fear, my lord swung again and again, each blow harmlessly deflected away. Then a single mighty blow from the ice creature knocked my lord down. His blade slid away, and he lay on the forest floor, looking up at the crystalline eyes of his, uh, of his death. The ice creature raised its arm again for the fatal blow, and brought it down hard at, the, uh, on, at Garadin's prone form. I don't know why he did it. Perhaps it was instinct, perhaps a moment's lapse in judgment. But my lord lifted the Everflow Ewer defensively as he got up to, to a kneeling position. The blow from the creature connected with the vessel, creating an ear-splitting crash. There was the sound of water splashing and a horrible cracking noise as the pitcher sunder as the sunder pitcher sent waves of freezing water in all directions. Even as I watched the liquid cover the ice creature and my poor master, they se seemed suspended in uh, place as if frozen solid. At the time, I didn't know how true my thoughts had become. As I watched in horror, they were encased in a tomb of pure ice. I could see Garadin's face as the ice overtook him. I could swear he was crying. A few of his frozen tears fell to the ground at his feet like b beautiful blue crystals. He knew he'd failed his mission. His people would starve, and he was responsible. Frost and ice covered everything in the glade now. The trees, the rocks, the soil, everything. It was then I became aware that the very air around me began to freeze. It was like a cold winter's night at first, but then it rapidly became worse. The cold was so bad, it turned uh, into a sort of frozen heat, began to burn. My throat became tight and breathing became difficult. I began to lose feeling in my arms and legs, and my vision be was beginning to blur. I had to escape this icy glade and uh, tell Garadin's story. It was the least I could do for such a noble man. With every bit of strength I could muster, I ran from Frostfire, from the Frostfire, and, and back through the cave. I barely escaped with my life. My journey back to the domain of Garadin was a sad one. My heart was heavy, my mind clouded with misery. He was a good man, the greatest I'd ever known. To die like that was no way for an honorable knight to end his life. When I finally reached the outskirts of Farm Mental Glen, the farmers were waiting for me. I was ready to tell them the sad news, but they raised a cheer of great joy. They told me that a week ago, a strange bluish glow, uh, glowing rain fell in their fields, and that the next day the crops began to grow as if there had never been a drought. A week ago was exactly when my master was frozen in that horrible glade, and his tears froze like bluish raindrops frozen in time. I looked up at the heavens, and the twinkling light suddenly gave me a great comfort. I thanked Mara and headed home. Next time on Dang. the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, we are going to be heading to this in this direction of of this cave. And some weird noises were happening there. I don't know if it was somebody talking or, or what, but we are going to see if we can't pilfer some of them frozen tears, uh, even though it came from such a beautiful story. Anywho, I think that'll be uh, that'll be fun. A little bit of grave robbing. Perhaps I should, perhaps Krug should don his gray fox cowl. So that way if anyone were, were to witness him, it would just be, it would just be something of the Thieves Guild and nothing more. Anyway, I will see y'all next time. Later!